is everything you need to know about Doug Shorts and his infamous adventures in time. right next to our deli department. It smells briskly of chocolate-covered ants, but it is a delightful little treat nonetheless. You, the customer, can now burn your meals right here in our store, thanks to our new do-it-yourself healthy food consumption classes. A real live chef will be showing you step-by-step step how to pleasure your partner on the dinner table. So pick up your pamphlet at the customer service area and tell them Dan O'Mano sent you for a free cookie already crisp for your pleasure. This is your pal, Dan St. Martin, signing out. Jason Mims, Chris Rogers. Jason Mims, Chris Rogers. Jason Mims, Chris Rogers. Jason Mims, Chris Rogers.
Chris Rogers. Don't you know who this is? It's Chris Rogers. You don't fuck with this. I eat a bowl once. And it came out with a crapper. Kick you in the knees. The bitch. Rocks and lobsters, bitch. I chase that bitch. Oh, be chasing him, Chris Rogers. Look at my mustachio. We throw it down like this. Yeah, for this a bitch, it's Chris Rogers. Threw down hard. Run in the mic. I want to say the cactus. Oh. Doug Short says you've never seen him before, rolling around with a bucket of cheese and a shopping cart with 13 blind mice attached at his hip. See Doug Short says you've never seen him before, opening for Slayer. See Doug Short says you've never seen him before, rubbing cookies on his man hair. Doug Shorts, as you've never seen him before, entering himself into the Miss America pageant with one arm. See Doug Shorts, as you've never seen him before, running after Jeeps with a leprechaun outfit. See Doug Shorts, as you've never seen him before, doing drum solos in the parking lot. Doug Shorts as you've never seen him before eating babies. Doug Shorts likes Cheetos, don't you? See Doug Shorts as you've never seen him before being chased by tigers in the forest of Gerber babies as he crushes the heads of infants with incredible mighty paws, blinding the ferocious tigers quickly on his tail. Doug Shorts, as you've never seen him before, spitting hash browns onto the elderly while chasing down service clerks in a short bus, while being chased by two inflamed clowns with lobster claws and a two-headed dragon with maggots for blood. Oh dear. See Doug Shorts, as you've never seen him before, chasing masters with Toby along his side, both holding a pair of dull scissors and an unloaded longbow. While eating everlasting amounts of candy cars and meatloaf! Blah! See Doug Shorts as you've never seen him before! Riding camelback through the Arabian Nights with no bars on his cell phone, two passed out prostitutes, 11 pop pops, 14 bags of wheat grain, 7 open fortune cookies, and a bag of skulls from third world infants previously mentioned. You love that shot! Don't deny it! See Doug Shorts as you've never seen him before! Complete with a top hat, two reindeer resembling Celine Dion in a car battery. Riding down the Alaskan tundra, being chased by carnivorous monkey men wearing capes and monocles. Shorts as you've never seen him before! Riding a unicycle through the bakery department, eating out of a bucket of marshmallow fluff. See Doug Shorts as you've never seen him before! Chasing service clerks with a broom and garlic beads through the rain. Doug Shorts doesn't like apricots, therefore you should boycott them. Doug Shorts as you've never seen him before! Breakdancing on the floor of his office with Chris Rogers to the new Ludacris album. See Doug Shorts as you've never seen him before! Pogo sticking through the deli department. See Doug 
shorts as you've never seen them before! Throwing cranberries at oncoming customers who have failed to wear their shop right smiles. See Doug shorts as you've never seen them before! Buttering bagels with a toothbrush! Jay likes the Doug Short conspiracy, don't you? See Doug Short as you've never seen him before! Pushing dumb trams around the aisles in the shopping cart with two midges in tow! See Doug Short as you've never seen him before! Building swimming pools out of cantaloupe peels for birds! Doug Shorts as you've never seen him before! Eating Pringles, pickles, and tapioca pudding as he swerves on his tricycle across the rooftop. See Doug Shorts as you've never seen him before! Throwing corn, watermelon, and rotten strawberries at elderly during Can Can! See Doug Shorts as you've never seen him before! Running into the woods with a box of burnt out matches and a glow stick while escaping from the herd of flies and dinosaurs with shopping carts and cantaloupes for feet. See dog shots as you've never seen them before. Singing rock and roll classics playing on a broken drum and a guitar with three rusty strings together with a special guest, the Gecko. Doug Shorts as you've never seen him before! Hippity hoppity flippity floppity all the way down the merry-go-round! See Doug Shorts as you've never seen him before! Leaving little presents in Judy's hair when she's not looking! See Doug Shorts as you've never seen him before! Building igloos in aisle 2 with Lois, Randy and Bernard to the sounds of Cryptopsy and Savage Garden! See Dog Shorts as you've never seen him before! Riding an elderly woman down aisle 13 to gather hordes of prune juice to fight off Sasquatch! See Dog Shorts as you've never seen him before! Eating banana peels while watching a documentary about moose! See Dog Shorts as you've never seen him before! Dry humping couches at Bob's discount furniture with a golf cart! See Dog Shorts as you've never seen him before! Playing hopscotch with Andy from Protus online! See Dog Shorts as you've never seen him before! Hitting damn St. Martin in the head with a Ouija board! Dog Shorts is saving booty loads of cash on car insurance by switching to Geico! Aren't you? See Dog Shorts as you've never seen him before! Retired. What's going on in here? Why is there a Wookiee for an opening hip cashier? Terry, stop eating the customers. Damn, take that out of Mike, you fool. I'm going to force feed you my main badge. I wish I could be cool like that head guy in the deli, and fat, and ugly. Hey Leo, get off Dennis's dick for a little while. There's work to be done. You too, Russ. Smelly old drunken Russ bus. Can't take a joke, even if the joke is his career. Remember that time when Pete O'Leary totally bricked in Mrs. O's mouth? Ethan, I swear I told you to stop standing around. Yes, I know Caesar gets you hot, but that's no excuse. Judy has got to be the best looking chimpanzee I've ever seen. Kenny, you better stop playing in the trash compactor. I don't care what Andrew said is in there. Looks like Jay's fallen asleep in the freezer again. Better go get that hammer. Pete, 
Your customers need their daily spread. Stop trying to deny them their delight. You too, Jamie. Ethan, would you please stop crying? You're scaring the customers. I would like my raise now. So tell me, why is Alex Cohen such a little... It's okay, big guy. We're gonna make it after all. Just keep that chin up and that tongue out of Ross's ass. Smile, buddy. The world is a better place now. Shock like him, hold you back forever. We're all going to be covered in sunshine. Lollipops and unicorns and tricycles for all the little ding-dongs. You and Devin will make a wonderful couple. Fill the world with super ding-dongs. Don't cry, big guy. Taking it back to the old school, bitches! Through the new school. See Jumpin' Jay Trizzle as you've never seen him before! Running down the service clerks with his mad wagon! See Jumpin' Jay Trizzle as you've never seen him before! Throwing Danny and Judy into the lobster tank with a flower pot! See Jumpin' Jay Trizzle as you've never seen him before. Eating cheese with Alex Cohen and Bill Flaker in the midst of a circle jerk. See Jumpin' Jay Trizzle as you've never seen him before. Watering the deli meat. See Jumpin' Jay Trizzle as you've never seen him before. Doing lines of coke off of Terry's mustache. See Jumpin' Jay Trizzle as you've never seen him before. Chasing Ashton and Kathy with hedge clippers. See Jumpin' Jay Trizzle as you've never seen him before. Arm wrestling Wilfredo with mustard on his pecs. Jumpin' Jay Trizzle as you've never seen him before! Power slamming Pete into the rotisserie! If you hadn't gathered it by now, Jumpin' Jay Trizzle is our very own Mr. John Tromza! Here's our Ethan. 
sleep about the hair. Looking down the barrel of a glazed truffle stash. Hey, buddy. Do some work. I thought I already told you. If it doesn't do his job. He just gets everyone else to do it for him while he stands around and talks with other sad old men. Poor old fatty dick dogs. Do so good! Hey, stop it! What we have here, it's motherfucking Josh Titties, sitting on the can again. I'm not so sure from experience, but I've been told that Kyle and Cody suck some mean balls. None of my business if you want to shine up St. Martin, but please, the pictures to yourselves. Ah, shit. Move Maniac himself, Ethan Burr, stocking up the new crates. Good to see you working again, Biggie. But I don't think Arthur likes your hand down there. I wish I had more time to do this shit. It's so nice to piss on all the people I work with who are such fucking crybabies that it makes me sick inside. I could be mistaken, but I believe it's Produce's turn to make a bail again. Too bad the department is stuffed to the max with shitheads. Mr. Tromza, I want to be just like you when I grow up. When you get a chance, let me know how long it takes you to freshen up that wicked mullet every day. Gotta take my pointers from the masters, you know. Even if they are scared of some silly Jews. See, dog shorts, I should never seen him before. Relying on Ethan and his mammoth-like strength to hold the weight of Shabran on his broad shoulders. A long time ago when Ethan was yet the man he is today, he was the toughest man in all of Cambodia and through his training, he competed on many levels to win the freedom of his people. One day he has been threatened by the Outer Worlds Master Chicago and he was forced to enter a deadly tournament of brutal and deadly fighting, all for the sake of his people. The gates of the outer world, he had noticed that this was not to be an easy task at hand. Shikaka and his friends seemed to be full of surprises and definitely not inclined to fight fairly. Ethan and his comrades did not see their futures faring very well with what lies ahead. Fiery breath, acidy spit, taco-covered bears, and smelly cockroaches. It all seemed like too much to handle, yet Ethan had his spirit mighty high, and he had no intent on giving up to Shikaki and his troops. So one night, when Shikaki's troops least suspected it, they hoarded in and clubbed them all to death and ate their bones. What a feast was to be had. After this, Ethan journeyed back to his realm to seek employment. What he found was a dark spot on society. ShopRite. Founded by warlords, this seemingly innocent grocery store was held together by a secret society of cannibals, werewolves, and Mexicans. There he saw chaos like no other. A daddy full of little babies. Dead ones! which was conveniently ran by the 12-year-old Mexican children with feathers for hair. To Ethan, they seemed like angels with pretty blue ribbons and bow ties made of crabs, shellfish, and lobster brains. Ethan wanted to do something about it, yet all he did was join the chaos. Aside from that, Ethan was assigned very side missions to keep him busy and out of the warlord's way, such as slaying the elderly on Tuesday, making sure cookies were not burnt, Seeing the leopards that hid in the secret rooms around the store, making sure the children stayed in their chambers and smelled briskly of mint. It was a day in, day out task driving life, but Ethan bit the big one and did it with a smile. 
Years later, it would be a chance meeting between Ethan and a man by the name of Doug Shorts. Doug spent many days talking to Ethan, and during this time, it became evident that Ethan was being brainwashed. Doug would take Ethan under his wing and train Ethan to be even stronger for what was to come ahead. On his side, recruiting allied forces, Ethan gathered up other warriors in John Tromza, Chris Rogers, Tony Andrioli, Rich Altieri, and even a young street thug by the name of Randy Krampitz, who was highly trained in the art of kicking ass. Together, this team of rabble-rousers brought about a plan to end the reign of terror the warlords had set into effect. The day had finally come. Ethan and his committed crew has finally felt ready to accomplish what they have never thought possible. Defeat the warlords and finish their reign for cancer forever! The battle took place at the Tower of Capricorn, the warlords' headquarters into which the only access was through a path of tall cornfields filled with little squirrels biting the legs of any intruder. Following was the herd of mice who grabbed on tight to their legs and caused a heavy burden on their already tired bodies. The gates to the Tower of Capricorn were guarded by two naked babies, two dead Mexicans and three human-sized cockroaches, all equipped with hot skillets filled with grease. Chicken grease! But to Ethan and his friends it was no match, and they have fought all the obstacles very bravely, delivering heavy losses onto the army of the warlords. And they had finally gotten through the gates when they saw a little squirrel with a bow and arrow. Although looking fearsome and brave, he could not take the pressure and he shot a arrow high into the sky and ran off into the forest, never to be seen again. The warlords then came out in full force but were destroyed as Tony and John pelted them with the snow cone shooting device they had manifested. Not being able to bear the cold, the warlords crumbled into the earth. Ethan and his compadres set forth and took control of the new institution. They were all assigned head position within and only looked back on their memories, keeping the blood trails they left very discreet. And that's the tale of how we're overshadowed by the man who was known all over the globe as Mr. Blood Fluff. Ethan likes Doug. Doug likes cookies. Blood Fluff. The Doug Short Conspiracy would like to thank all of the little people who made this complete waste of airwaves possible. First and foremost, my colleague. Secondly, all of the foolish beings who added and listened to us on Trump the old MySpace. Then all the little animals who gave up their lives to sacrifice for the red meat that needed to be soaked into our veins to gather our bearings for the right Doug Shortsonism. Lastly, all the cover bands who are sure to appear after the EP is thrown together, follow the trail and never look back. Doug Shorts is watching. Make him proud. Your soul might be at stake. <laughs>